Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's been a couple of weeks since I uploaded a video. Everything is awesome and A-OK -okay here at the house. Uh, Debbie and I have been very busy uh, doing household things. I've been very busy recording group session night. It's now turned into group session month for all the members here at YouTube and over at Patreon. That's where we connect, try to connect with loved ones on the other side. Been doing that for members for almost five years now. I come as a friend, I come in peace. Your wife says she talks to you every night. Do you have a message for her? You miss her heart? So I guess that's him saying you have a good heart. Says, I'd like to connect with my sweet grandmother, Mildred Millie Roberts. It's her birthday on July 11th. Please tell her I always think of her and remember how sweet and kind she always was. I'm hoping she is with my father and mother in heaven playing the slots. Happy birthday, Grandma. And who are you with? Are you with somebody? Gamble too much. Gamble too much. That is amazing. I'm getting chills from that. I've been very, very busy, but I wanted to put up a new video for you guys here, and it's something different. I'm not going to be inside with my miracle box or astral doorway. Instead, I want to be out here and show you guys how you can possibly capture a full-on image of a spirit. Now, many of you are aware, uh, and some of you may not be aware, of something called water scrying. It's a very, very good technique. For capturing the faces of spirit. I've shared my images using water scrying over the years here on this channel a few times and most of my really good spirit photos were taken using water scrying many years ago. I'd say eight or nine years ago. There's the monocle man. There's the guy with the pencil mustache. There is some incredible things that have come from water scrying and a lot of people say well it's just tricks of the mind you're seeing what you want to see and that could very well be but I'm here to tell you guys that there's some evidence uh, to back up um, that this is really spirit showing themselves now when I do this water scrying which I'm going to show you in a minute how to do um, it's very easy anyone can try it with a pot of water and a camera very easy to try and you may or may not get results and actually I'm gonna ask you guys if you try this send me your photos your best water scrying photos and I might feature them in an upcoming video the photos that you captured I'll put an email uh, in the description below of this video down in the video description and if you try this technique and you capture a spirit image or what you feel is a spirit image send it to me and I'll pick the best ones and I'll create a future video to show off what you guys at home have captured but anybody can try this I've been doing it for a long long time I don't always have success it depends on that connection one interesting thing though that I've discovered over the years I can do this technique and take a hundred photos and it seems like when I do capture a face or even a word uh, or a face that's recognizable, or an animal, a dog, or a cat, I capture what I'm asking for. I remember asking for the spirit of a dog for a member, and a face of a dog showed up in the water. Uh, undeniable. I remember asking for a loved one, a father of a member, and a face showed up in the water that looked just like the face of her father when he was alive. Uh, I remember going into my house and using the water scrying method and getting nothing and then when I started asking for specific spirits I would then get a face that would pop up in the water so I'm going to try today to ask for two or three specific spirits and see what happens I'll probably take around 50 photos and I may not capture anything that's part of this whole ITC thing 
It's not always going to happen. You're not always going to capture a face in the water. Um, but I'm hoping that we can connect with one or two spirits today and capture something unique. I'm going to ask for three spirits. The questions I'm going to ask are, were there ever any farm animals on this property? If so, can you show me what was on this property? I'm also going to ask if the spirit of Michael Jackson can show himself. Now, Michael Jackson has been one of my strongest connections through the spirit box devices with fluid conversations and messages from him that were absolutely amazing in some of those videos. But I never tried capturing the face of Michael Jackson, so I'm going to ask and see if I can. Finally, I am going to ask for the face of any spirit that is attached to me or around me, and I'll see if I get a face or an image on any of these requests. But these are specific requests, right? So if we get something that matches to what I'm asking, the evidence is there to show that something is going on. And I'm feeling an energy here across my chest right now. And uh, I think the spirits are here and they want me to go try. So let's go over to the pot of water that I have set up right behind the camera. We're just gonna use the natural sunshine since we're out here in God's country. And we'll see what happens. I'll show you guys how to do it. It's very easy. And uh, again, if you capture any photos uh, that you think are spirit, use the email address in the video description below to send me those images and they may show up in a future video. All right, let's go give this a try. All right, so right here I just have a pot of water. It's a metal pot and the sun is shining into the pot of water. Okay, that's what we want. You want a light source. If you're doing this in your home, I recommend a silver pot with a light source above the pot of water. Actually, let me show you here what I'm doing. So I have a camera here, right? And there's two ways to do this. We can either take photos, and I'm gonna do both. I can take a photo with my phone at any given time, or when I watch this video back, I can watch frame by frame the video which you'll need a um, way to do that, either through a video editor or if you're using your phone, watch frame by frame, because that makes it easier uh, to find when a spirit shows up. So right now, let me make sure I'm recording here on the camera, I am. I am actually going to um, just try to take a few pictures as I ask uh, for these spirits to show up. So let's give it a shot. I'm going to focus. I'm going to envision that white light. And all of this is done out of love, as I always talk about, as love is indeed the key uh, to all of this. Um, so I'm gonna get ready here. We're gonna try to take some photographs of spirit, specific spirit, to see if we get anything to show up in this water. Now, water scrying has been around a long time. There's many people who do this and produce mind-blowing crazy results, better than I get. Uh, but this is something anyone can try. And the more you do it and the more you focus on it and the more you want to do it, the better the results will be. It's the same with communication using boxes and apps and devices. What you wanna do is you wanna rest your hand in the water. I believe this puts your energy in the water because when spirits connect with you, they go through you. And this might have something to do with how they show up when they do it. So let's get started and we'll see if we can capture any faces. Okay, spirits, this is Steve Huff. I come with love. I come as a friend, I come in peace. I'm here today to try to capture physical evidence of spirit besides hearing them speak. I'm here to see if I can capture a face, to see spirit, uh, instead of just hear them. Um, spinning the water around with my hand. Spirit, you can use my energy, of course, as always. The first thing I'm going to ask is, if were there ever any farm animals on this property? We considered bringing in chickens and goats and I don't know have there ever been any farm animals or animals on this property besides the cats and dogs
And lo and behold, I captured what appears to be the face of a pig. Now, I don't know if there were ever any pigs on this property over the last 100 years, but I ask if there were any animals or farm animals on this property, and I swear this looks like a pig to me. The nose, the eyes, even a pinkish hue to the skin. This is what I'm talking about. This evidence points to there definitely being something going on. Let's continue. Next, I'm going to ask, and I'm getting an energy chill already. Wow. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is the other day I was recording with my miracle box and I had a message come in about Michael Jackson. It wasn't the spirit of Michael Jackson. It was a spirit asking about Michael Jackson um, during my group session. So I am going to see if we can connect with the spirit of Michael Jackson. You can show yourself, Michael, so we can recognize that it's you what you look like in life, because we know as a spirit, your energy. Michael Jackson, can you show up? I'm going to take some photos of the water. If you can, show your face of what you look like in life here. Show us, Michael. Michael and look at what came in during that little segment. I, To me, this looks like Michael Jackson. It's distorted because there's waves in the water, but look at the eyes, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips. And up here in the corner, it looks like a little Michael head with sunglasses. But this to me is uncanny. And again, more evidence that shows we can connect with specific spirits and they can show themselves just as they can speak to us once we connect with that love. Guides. Are there any of you here with me right now? Come on through if you can. Billy, Ed, or Ava, Lillian, Michael, Harold, Ace. As I searched the video frame by frame for the guides or who was with me, I did not see any solid images in the water. There were some that could have been tricks of the mind, but I didn't see anything definitive. Uh, while I did see the pig and the Michael Jackson face, the third time I don't feel I captured anything, and that's normal. Uh, it's very challenging and hard to capture these faces because we must connect, and spirits change and manipulate the image just as they manipulate audio when they speak through a spirit box. It's rather incredible, actually, and always, to this day, continues to blow my mind. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that little uh, demo of water scrying and the two images I captured. I'm confident uh, our spirit because they came in right as I asked for that specific spirit, the animals, and then Michael Jackson. Now, I didn't capture anything on the third try, but again, it's very challenging. You might come out one day and try 100 or 200 or 300 photos or scrolling through 10 minutes of video footage and capture nothing. At the same time, you might go the next day and connect with spirit. And all of a sudden, as you're scanning those frames, you might see a full on face pop out at you in that water. And that's pretty amazing when that happens. And it's hard to explain away, especially when you get something that is what you're asking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have a cat walking around my legs. Um, if you guys try this at home and capture anything, if you capture a really good photo that you believe is spirit, send it to me along with your name. Send, um, if you have a YouTube channel or anything, I'll shout it out for you guys uh, that send in the photo if I pick your photo. Um, but I'll put the email in the video description below that you could send me the photo to. I'll check it out. It might end up in a future video. Again, photo, your name, and if there's any specific circumstance to how you captured the photo, let me know and we'll share it with the world. So I thank you all. If you enjoy my videos, thumbs up and subscribe. It still helps even after all these years. I love you guys so much. It's such a beautiful day out. Uh, I'm going to do some outside work, and I will see you guys very soon. Love you all. Remember, love is the key. Bye.